every Cajun and every Creole makes their gumbo a little different from everybody else. You ask 50 people, you get 50 different methods. They're all about the same. So pay attention. One of the things that I learned from both my grandmas that I watch make gumbo, it starts with a good stock, the onion, celery, green pepper, and that nice, rich, roasted, dark cooked root. That's your main foundation. It has to have the root. There's no way of getting around that deep, caramelized, nutty flavor. My daddy says, if you ain't never made a root, you ain't never burned one. Sooner or later, no matter how good you are, you end up burning a root. It happens. Gumbo is one of those things where you put in the things that you like. We've got that foundation of the Trinity, the stock, and the root. But now other flavors are gonna marry. And Louisiana cooking, walks, crawls, swims, flies, if we can catch it, we will use it. When you cook seafood gumbo, we're taking some nice golf shrimp. Then I just like to put the crabs in the shell because that adds such a depth of flavor. It's like cooking something on a bone. And we're gonna throw in oysters right at the end. Whew! They're gonna be swimming in this goodness. They're gonna be swimming in the goodness. Swim, backstroke, baby, backstroke. I never mix land animal with sea. If it's gonna be crab, I'll throw some fish in it or some shrimp in it, but never sausage. I don't like the cross. Now that's me and my family. I see people put sausage in their, in their shrimp gumbo all the time. As long as your gumbo good, I don't care. For my land-based gumbos, I like to use a good smoked andouille sausage. The finest of all Cajun sausages, in my opinion. A winged bird, I've got some duck right here. You can use chicken, turkey, wild quail make good gumbo, pretty much anything that flies. Now I like to use dark meat because it has all the flavor. Now some folks like to put okra in the pot to help thicken it. When okra was out of season, filet powder. Filet or okra, one or the other, not both. Gumbo takes a long enough time to where you would never make it just for yourself. That doesn't make sense. I've never done that in all the thousands of gumbos I've made. So you got to have people over. Chef, please try. Oh, oh, oh. I see he's got a spoon in his pocket. He's ready to go. Oh, baby. That duck just came right off the bone. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just is so tender. Oh, man. Ooh, Chef, that's good gumbo. And this is my favorite part right here. Show him how. Show him how. You just. <laughs> that's, the best, that's the best bite. Everybody has to eat gumbo when they come to Louisiana. Absolutely. It's one of the most versatile Cajun culinary cuisines out there in Creole Town. Can you say that again? Culinary no, no, Cajun I, cuisine? I barely got it out the first time. That, that was, was good. good. Repeat it. Yeah. <laughs>